Hey, hi guys. Uh, once again, welcome to our weekly devotion. Wednesday devotion. My name is I'm Kevin. I'm born again. Christ is the rock of my life. I just want to welcome you wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Just spare you a few minutes and let's have to listen to what the Lord has for us. Before we begin, let's just bow our heads and have a word of prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment. We are thanking you for gathering us just to hear from you, Lord. We are hoping our hearts are ready to listen to hear from you, Lord. As we listen to your heart, Lord, may it find a place in our hearts. May it find a place to, to, to make us to be what you want, Lord. We thank you and we glorify your name. And I pray this trusting and believing. Amen. Welcome. Let's just share something small. And I hope at the end of it, it will have an impact in our life. It will change something in our life. And our reading today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse, we'll begin from verse 20. Uh, and I will read, <clears throat> My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. 22, for they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. 23, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. Keep your mouth free of perversity. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. I love this verse so much. From the beginning, we are being called my son. You are being called my son. We have to pay attention to what the Lord says. Turn your ear not to, the, to, to my words. Turn your ear to my words. The Lord has spoken so many times to, uh, to, uh, to us. Sometimes we neglect, sometimes we assume. Sometimes we pass somewhere, someone is preaching. You assume is mad. But I believe if you just pay attention, just spare your two, three minutes, just listen to what, whatever is, is, is preaching or whatever is teaching. Do not let them out of your sight. Wherever you go, whatever you do, let them always direct your path. And we are going to major on verse 23. Above all else, guard your heart. For everything you do flows from it. My emphasis will be on this verse because I just want to give an example. I want to ask you a question. How many of us do we have phones? We have gadgets. And the first thing we do after we've bought our new phones, the first thing we do, we need to to get a protector, a guard protector to protect our phone. So that in case it falls down, you are sure it will not break. You are sure it will be the way it was, the way you bought it. And each and every time we keep on checking, is it in, in the right st state it was? Is it the way I bought it? Because you cannot buy your phone and be with it without protecting it. We value it so much. We value our phone so much that the minute it falls down, the first thing you, you need to check it. But here, I want to ask you a question. Our hearts, have we guard our hearts? Our, are our hearts guarded? Ask yourself, is my heart guarded? Compare your phone with your heart. Of the two, which one do you guard most? Do you guard your phone most than your heart? Whatever is in your phone, whatever is in your heart, which one do you treasure? So, we are being told, above all else, guard your heart. Our heart is where everything is. Our thoughts, whatever we think of, it's always in our heart. Have you ever heard someone say, I hate you with all my heart? I love you with all my heart. Because our heart is where we manufacture all this. All this because of what? We've exposed our heart so much to evil things. We think dirty things, our hearts are so full of dirty things. We've not guarded our hearts. But what, what I just want to encourage you today, let's guard our hearts. For 
everything flows from it in your heart just like the the example i've given of the phone your heart is where everything flows from the minute you guard your heart after you've had a, a quarrel with your brother your sister at your workplace you sit down you calm down first of all just relax cool your heart just collect yourself ask yourself is it worth am i going to harbor the bitterness revenge anger in my heart as long as you we've guarded our hearts as long as you've guarded our hearts we shall be at peace with ourselves with whoever and with god we shall be all at peace keep your mouth free from perversity yeah and above all guarding your heart sorry and the only way you can guard your heart the only way you can guard your heart just open with me the book of uh, the book of Joshua the book of Joshua i will read Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 keep the book of the law always on your lips meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it then you will be prosperous and successful the only way we can guard our hearts is by reading the word of god and meditating on it day and night wherever we go just read the word of god it doesn't matter what you've been told the names that have called you whatever is in your heart just read the word of god because everything is in the, in the is, is in the bible we've read so many books we watch so many movies series season 1 season 2 we cram them you can even narrate it is a, a movie but now we are we are being told let's the, read the, the the word of god and meditate on it day and night wherever you go just read it do not pay evil to evil just meditate re- rehearse it every time every time wherever you go keep it and it will never de- never depart from it so the only way we can guard our hearts this week i don't know what you're going through I don't know what is ahead of you. I don't know what you've been going through for the past week. I don't know what is in your heart. They have called us all sort of names. They have told you this, they have told you that. You feel like giving up. We have seen so many things on uh, television. People are giving up on life. Uh, uh, people are committing suicide. Because of what? Our hearts are so much exposed. We've exposed our hearts so much, so much to so many things, to many evil things. But let's guard our hearts as we wake up in the morning. Read the word of God. Read the promises of God. Read what the Bible says do and read what the Bible says do not do and abide with it. Then keep your mouth free from perversity. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. What do we talk? Do we talk politics? Do we talk what God can do or what man can do? Ask yourself, what have you been talking? ask yourself what are you thinking right now as you are talking what are you thinking what is your next move are you about going to uh, to revenge on someone are you planning anything evil to go and uh, you know, retaliate for what someone did to you let's keep our mouth free of perversity talk anything that is not glorifying god from your mouth keep it away from you corrupt talks we are not supposed to abide to what the world is we are not of the world as a child of god you are not supposed to keep corrupt words people are planning for evil in your presence what do you do do you encourage them are you the one the one front in front of the, the the program they are planning are you in front of it let us keep any corrupt word anything that is not going to glorify god let's keep it away from our lips let your eyes look straight ahead fix your gaze directly before you let your eyes your inner eyes let them look straight look straight whatever you're doing whatever you're planning focus distractors are all, are all over but this week just focus to our jesus the author and the finisher of our faith so my message for this week just guard your heart look at your phone how protected is it is it we have protector we have cover all over our phones our gadgets ask yourself how is my heart 
so and so said this last week. Are you still holding on it until now? Are you still planning to revenge? What mission are you on? Guard your heart. The minute you guard out your heart, and the only way you guard your heart, read the word of God. Everything is in it. Everything that you need, it's in the word of God. Don't search it anywhere. Don't Google wherever you want to Google, but just read the word of God. Meditate on it day and night. And I guarantee you, your heart will be fully protected. I hope you're blessed as you continue with your work. I hope the, the love of God shall shine on you wherever you go. Whatever you've been planning, whatever you've been harboring in your heart, just open the Bible. Read what does the Lord tell us about, about anger, bitterness. All is in the Bible. I hope you're blessed as you continue with your daily duties. Be blessed until we meet again. Let me uh, uh, wind it with a word of prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you, you've been so good to us. As your word has said, to God our hearts, my Father, we're asking it from you, Lord. May you forgive our sins. May you forgive our wrong thoughts, whatever you thought, not as per your, your word, Lord. May you forgive us, Lord. We are thanking you for giving us this wonderful moment to listen from you, to hear from you, Lord. I'm even praying for those who are far, wherever they are, whatever they're doing, Lord, may they prosper. Those who are uh, the point of giving up, Lord, May you, may you give them the hope they need, my Father. The hope they desire, Lord. May they find it in you. As they read your word, my Father, may it uh, find a place in their heart, Lord. May it change their hearts, their minds, their thoughts in the, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we glorify your name. And I'm praying this, trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed.